We could have a discussion now. But we could have the same rationale. I'm right. fascinated right. by the idea. But I mean, at the same time, there are, it is moderated to the point of, I mean, the, the stuff is moderated. If people can't have racial epitaphs. No, <laughs> no racial epitaphs and no left threatened, no, no, no threatened. Personal insults, death threats, yeah. Well, personal insults. <laughs> <laughs> but then when, all right, when you start taking out, there are, there are, I mean, there was something. I also know, it's also, it's in, 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 who you would find to spend your day policing a message? I understand the logistic yeah, activities, but I mean, the philosophical. There, there are a couple. There are a couple issues. There is, for the longest time, there was a side issue <laughs> of oh, the comments that come, the people that come in the newsroom are horrible. And they comment. They're not like the people that you find on, no offense, uh, Brian Ward or. Those are great people in the newsroom. Those are great, great, great. I'm not but, saying, but, but you know, people were comparing. People would compare newsroom to say a Miller World or. Brian's board or F. Warren's board. It was, it, was a, it was a difference of size. It was a difference of scale. It was like saying, oh my gosh, people who come to a, a bookstore and sit in the corner and discuss a specific issue are polite. And a football stadium during the Super Bowl, people can be assholes. You know? <laughs> and so I mean, there, there's an issue of scale that goes with it. Sure, sure. Um, also, and there, had, there was an issue recently, there was an issue recently, where some people, I mean, they expressed their opinion of a writer's writing, and it was a valid means of expressing their opinion of how they saw it, of their view of that person's writing. I don't see why they call them a douchebag. <laughs> 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 but it doesn't but say so I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> and again, I don't have a horse in the race. I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm a, I have a morbid fascination. There, there, there is, I mean, there is an issue. There is an issue when people can when they make their case and say, and, and I, I've read, I've read stuff about, you know, that I, I've broken the rule of, of almost famous of, I do have friends sure. who are creators, and there are times that I will read some of the, after I've put a few up with one of these guys, I will read some of the comments that the most horrible thing to say, and that person's a friend of mine, and I know that they're taking that personally, but at the same time, it's an opinion. It's that person's opinion. And do I then take that person's opinion down just because it is mean to a friend of mine or it, you know, it's, it's a valid opinion? There are some freaking crazy people out there who go after each other more than more than creators. But I mean we had we had a strength recently that people that, you know, expressed their dislike for a creator and I was on that thread and I was reading everything, moderating it, going, they're not saying anything personal about him. There were some bad stuff. There were some bad things that were said about him. <clears throat> but then after a while, it was just like, I don't like his writing. I think his writing has been better. I like this. I don't like that. Is there a you know, like is it better? Is it I ask, and I ask, Ed's stuff on low life was so uh, much better than you. I don't know. But it's the flip side of, of availability on the internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's the yeah, just kind exactly. of it's, it's great. Like, hey, you have a presence. You can there are update people. Facebook and Twitter and MySpace all at the same time about your new work, and then yeah. like, there are people like douchebag or whatever. So I'm just kind of curious about the way it's a very, very gray area. And if you if you go too far one one way or the other, you are either letting every person person um, just run roughshod over every subject of every interview, or you are clamping down and not allowing free speech. And it's, you know, it's one of those things I saw recently Peter David was just like, oh, I believe the, the, the best answer to you know, people saying it's my freedom of speech to say this is more free speech. Like, God bless you and the time you must have. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, it, it, it's a very tricky thing. And I know it's not going to be answered to everyone's satisfaction every single time. It's not really answer my, I mean, one of the things recently, it's the map right now. Um, no, but, but this, uh, is, this is very much like, this is this is something that Roy Thomas, you know, before uh, the, the, yeah. the the thin blue line between being called a douchebag and writing uh, back in the day was Klaus Steinberg, who sat at a desk at the front door and took every yeah. letter that came and threw away the crowns. There's a great <laughs> Rolling Stone interview with her in 1971 about what it's like to work at Marvel and how every now and again we were going to show up and how she was the one that kept them and she always had the suspicion that one day someone's going to come in with a gun. It's amazing. Sort of story about what it was like back then. It used to be flow. Like flow was the big blue line that, that yeah. protected. So I'm just kind of. I think this goes into where we. Yeah, yeah. Go. I did get a, a perspective, and I am going to. I did get a different perspective on it. Well, I would like to say on this. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> a, a, a different perspective on it was recently when we did sell the site to Imaginova. I went from being the person who was moderating the comments and saying, no, you can't say this about this, you can't. I went from that to being the subject. And there are, st there are still people, and I, I didn't like it too much, did you? <laughs> 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 I'm not so funny now. <laughs> Who are who are just like oh, you got his thirty pieces of silver? Every guy thirty pieces of silver. I compare your sale of this comic book website with the betrayal of Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 